So this is a SOLIDWORKS model of 2011 question B3. Uh, so we'll bring up the question now. We're asked to draw the given elevation and plan and project an end view in the direction of ROA of the section cylinder. So the end view is looking from the right. And so we'll bring it up in 3D. So here's what the model looks like from elevation. There's what the plan or the model looks like from plan. So the sphere is inside it. I'll turn on the hidden detail now. So that's the sphere in plan and elevation. And then the end elevation looking from the right. We're going to see this here with our hidden detail. So I'll turn it back on in color. Now you'll see the um, views projected onto the relevant planes. The difficult thing is drawn in the curved section here in end elevation. So what we're going to do is divide our circle up into 60, 30 in plan. So that uh, plan view is divided up into 60, 30. These are generators, okay, that I'll show up now. So there are generators that run along the cylinder. So an elevation there found by just bringing them straight up from plan. That's them in plan is pointing from the circle just straight across now these contain points on the elliptical curved surface so if you bring them straight across the end elevation you're going to get points on the curved surface uh, and you'll see the projection lines here so i'll bring them up there's the projection line elevation and there's the projection lines to end elevation then you have to find the um, true shape of the cut surface s so the true shape is seen on the view looking uh, perpendicular to it okay um it's only surface s so that auxiliary plane is parallel to um the cut surface S, so our cut surface S, it's parallel to, so it's parallel to that line there. See it here. So they're parallel, and you see it by looking perpendicular to the cut surface. Uh, the point, uh, then part C, you have to find the point of contact, and or sorry, you have to find the focal point and dielectrics using the focal sphere that's inside here. So that sphere inside. So to find the point of contact, okay, in elevation. Where the surface appears as an edge, we go at 90 degrees to the cut surface from the center of the sphere. And where it hits the edge of the cut surface is the point of contact. So that's it there. Now you have to show that in the true shape. So you simply bring that to the true back to the true shape here. Okay, so that's the focus there in the middle of it on its axis. Now you're also asked to find the directrix. So to find the directrix, you draw a plane down that contains the cut surface, and then you draw a plane, a horizontal plane, where the sphere touches the extreme generator the cylinder, and where those two planes intersect, that's a point view of the directrix. So uh, I wonder, do I have it in here? I do. So that's the directrix there. Okay, it's a point, the line, the directrix, the intersection uh, of the two planes appears as a point there, and on the true shape, it's drawn as a line. So I get started, as drawn as a line there. I get started on, on drawing it. To figure out this angle here, this was 55 as according to the question. The angle up here was 70. Uh, vertically opposite angles are equal, so if that's 70 there, this is 70 as well. So that's 70 degrees up there. Okay, I'm just going to press all right there. And then this is 55. I can't, and there we go, that's 55, yeah. And then this value here is the two numbers added together, which is 125 taken away from 180. So we get 55 as well. So that's an isosceles triangle. Now to get the end elevation, I'm going to divide this into 60 to 30, bring it up to the 
division lines up to elevation bringing them across the end elevation and the end elevation should be drawn on the left because you're looking from the right Follow points from plan up and across from eleva elevation until they intersect in their relevant positions. So number six, across number six, up here, this is number six here, and then zero is up here. Uh, seven, across, up, and across from number seven, that's number seven, and then across from number eleven, that's number eleven. Okay, eight and ten across, up, careful not to mix it with line A and B. So eight across there. And then number 10, so there's number 10, 9 over up across here, there's number 9, uh, B across up, careful not to mix the wrong point up, B, there's point B, okay, 11 over up across from 11 done, 0 do already done, number 1 across up over from number 11, so there's number 1, number 2 across up over. Careful not to pick, uh, mix it up with point A, so A across, up, so point A, uh, number 3, over, up, across from number 3, there's number 3, number 4, across, up, over from number 4, and number 5, across and up, and across from number 5 here. Okay, so we need to sketch the numbers in, so 6 is going to join to... 6 is going to join to 5, 4, 3 and point A, not number 2. So um, we'll, I'll have to sketch them in here, I won't be able to do it with the vision. So if them join together, alright, after A, A joins to 2, 1, 0, 11, 10 and B, and that's in detail, and then A joins to B then in end elevation. So remember, okay, B joins to 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, and then A, and then after A, a goes to 2, 1, 0, 11, 10. Right, so the next part of the question we have to do part C, and that is to find the focal sphere and do the true shape. So to find the focal sphere, I'm going to need to bisect this angle here, and then to find the true shape, I'm going to need to look perpendicular to it, so the projection lines will be at a right angle to it. It'll be an auxiliary plan, so I take my distances from my x1, or x, y line down to plan and step them up here. For speed, what I can do is if I just find the axis, okay, I can put my compass on the axis and swing uh, up and below the axis for speed. Now because I'll be tight for space here, I'll use a datum line. set to any radius to 
find the correct radius, right? Go perpendicular to the cut surface from the center point. That's your point of contact. Take your compass then, and then you can draw in the sphere. Okay, in plan or in elevation rather, and then in end elevation, I put in this in detail. Find the point of contact, all right, um, or sorry, to find the focus in the true shape, it's the point of contact between the sphere and the cut surface, which we've already found. So we project that perpendicular to the cut surface, that point of contact, and this is the focal uh, point. So the focal point is where the focal sphere touches the cut surface. Then to get the directrix, as per the SOLIDWORKS explanation at the start, we extend our cu cut surface. Okay, we find the point of contact between the sphere and the extreme generator. And we draw a horizontal line, and there's a point view of the uh, directrix there. So then, to find the answer here, we project perpendicular to the cut surface from the point view of the directrix, and here's your directrix there, okay? Point. Now I'm going to darken all this in.